In this video, we're going to take a look at plotting a function on log log paper. So we're asked here to plot the function y equals x to the 1 half, both on an ordinary axis as well as a log log axis. Now the ordinary axis is here on the left and the log log axis is here on the right. Now in log log graphs, both axes have a logarithmic scale. Now this means both the domain, which is the x values, as well as the range, which is the y values, must be both positive since you can't have the logarithm of a negative number. So here I want you to pause the video now and try to plot the function y equals x to the one half both on the ordinary axes as well as on log log axes. Now remember that x to the one half is equivalent to root x so you're actually plotting the root x function. Now the easiest way to do this is to just simply make a table of values. So go ahead and pause the video now and try plotting on both axes. Okay, so if we make a table of values, remember that our function here is y equals x to the one half, which is actually equal to root x. So if we make a table of values here, let's start with x value of zero. When x is equal to zero, well, y would equal zero as well. We're just simply plugging x in to your function. Now if x was equal to say 1, well root 1 is equal to 1. Now let's jump to x equaling 4. The square root of 4 is equal to 2. Now let's jump to the square root of say 9. So when x is 9, the square root of 9 would be 3. Now let's try plotting this. So on my ordinary axes, which is on the left here, let's plot the points 0, 0, 1, 1, 4, 2, 9, 3. And this will give us a rough idea of what this function looks like on an ordinary axis. So you can see here that this function, which is the root function, root x, looks like a half of a parabola on its side, basically. So that's on the ordinary axes. Now, what would this look like on the log log graph paper here on the right hand side? Well, we're going to plot those same points. So you'll notice here that the log log paper has a different scaling. It's based on logarithms, right? So the distance between 1 and 2 is very different than the distance between, say, 8 and 9. Okay, so let's plot our points. So our first point was 0, 0. Now you'll notice here that my log log paper here is starting at an x value of 1 and a y value of 1. So let's plot the next point, which is 1, 1. So plot that point here. Our next point is at 4, 2. So when x is 4, y is equal to 2. Well, 4 is way over here for x. And y equals 2 is right about here. So plot that point. And plot the point 9, 3. So when x is 9, y is equal to 3. So again, 9 is way out here. And the value of 3 is roughly here. Now you can see here that when you graph the square root of x on log log paper, what you're going to see is a straight line.